Vignesh, I teach as assistant professor in this particular place. I'm a sociologist. I research issues related to the information technology industry. By 2010 or 2012, what they are really looking at is through common service centers, every eight villages will be connected to one common service centers. Right? These service centers will be connected to the state government, uh, district headquarters, district headquarters will be connected to the state, state headquarters will be connected to the central government. The, the logic here is a person who is sitting in a village will be able to talk to a person, uh, talk to the government person or talk to the, uh, the, the bureaucrat through this particular computer PC which is located in this village. Okay, so everybody is wired basically. The government doesn't clearly say that okay, only open standards should be used in electronic governance project. It doesn't say that. What it says, preferably you should use open standards. Wherever open standards are not available, uh, proprietary technology standards can be used on a uh, uh, on a reasonable and fair uh, conditions. So what happens if you do not use open standards, okay, and uh, the access to this particular technology uh, will become very expensive for a person. Okay, if it is an open standard, there are multiple vendors available in the market to provide that particular technology. Okay, so the price is going to come down because there are multiple vendors. Okay, because it's based on open standard. Suppose we are going to use a proprietary technology, only few people who are having control over this particular technology can provide that technology for that particular interface. What happens? The cost increases. Now suppose I'm a villager and uh, I want to access government information. Uh, right now, uh, I have a Pentium 2 machine, which is my, maybe my son was using it and gave it to me and it's gone abroad. Right, Pentium 2 machine capabilities are very less. That's why I'm using a Linux, uh, a Linux operating system, and using uh, say Firefox, which is everything is free. So only the machine was there. Maybe it's eight thousand rupees co worst main cost, and the rest of things are completely freely available. Okay, as an open source. So I downloaded everything and started using. Now as a citizen, I want to access government data. I cannot access that. I cannot access any government websites using my my PC. Now suppose. Well, wait, other, what would happen? Huh? What the, would the happen? The website will not open. Can you show us? Oh sorry. yes, I can show. So what I'm going to show now is say uh, accessing government websites or looking at uh, data that is available in the government websites, especially say important ones like Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. I'll, I'll show you uh, using Firefox, which is freely available that can run on a free operating systems like Linux. Okay, when you open it, what happens? You can bring it closer. I can show you this. Okay. Now, so if you look at this particular website, that in the kind of uh, usage, if you look at this, see, highlight this, you do not, then Firefox does not open properly, right? You do not know where these things are going, right? So, but the same website, if you're going to open it in Internet Explorer, look at the difference. So the difference is completely, it's easily visible, right? So if I use this Internet Explorer, I'm able to access everything. When I start using this Firefox, the accessibility is not really there. This is what I'm trying to make. 